Alrighty, everybody, and yo! What is going on, everybody? It's Super Mario Nickel, not the K, here on YouTube. And today, in this video, we are going to be going over the evolution of SML Cody Edition. Now, this is a new series to my channel. I'm going to be doing the evolution of SML um, series where basically I take an SML character and I do an evolution video of how they evolved in SML and how they have changed over time and how that character started versus how it is today. And uh, today we're going to be going through Cody. This is Cody edition. I decided to do the evolution of SML with first Cody because I feel like Cody probably has some of the most notable changes of an SML character. And without further ado, let's just get started. But before we do that, please drop a like on the video if you do enjoy this series. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Remember that uh, over here I upload as much SML content or more SML content than literally anyone else on YouTube. We upload daily, quite possibly even twice a day now. Um, with the summer break going on, I have got a lot of time so I can make videos even twice a day for y'all. So anyway, if you guys want to stay updated, if you want as much SML news as possible, then be sure to stick with the channel and subscribe. Anyway, let's just get right onto it. So let's start with how Cody first began. So Cody was introduced um, as a character that was in summer school and he really wasn't an amazing character at first glance like he's not the character he was today there was a long coming of how cody became the character he was today it took a lot of time and formation but cody overall was a character very much he right off the bat like for the first few videos he was just a nerd okay he was a nerd he was nerdy um and he was very much into guys but at the time, he didn't make an obsession of it. He just kind of made it known that, hey, I'm into guys, but he didn't make an obsession. And honestly, I'm also going to be talking about Cody's voice and how it changes over time because Cody's voice at the beginning of SML was, uh, or at the beginning of when he was released, was a lot different than when he is now. Like, his voice has changed completely. Um, and, he, you know, he began as, like, a nerdy kid and uh, just as a guy who only cared about school and had a lot of medication disorders, like, a lot of them. That was a big thing about Cody back in the day was that he had a lot of medication disorders and uh, uh, or medical disorders, sorry, not medication disorders. He had a lot of medical disorders that required medication um, and he was very much of a nerd and he had a very weird voice. I'll show you guys in a sec. Okay, so uh, what do I want to wish for? I want my 12 damn presents. <sighs> yeah, good, good plan. Okay, so what is- So you can kind of hear Cody's voice there. You know, I was a little bit like, oh, okay. You know, just kind of, okay, I shouldn't really imitate it myself because it's going to give off a very bad impression. But again, you could tell his voice was very dweeby, very nerdy. And just overall, it was a very different Cody back in the day. He was seen as a very lame character and SML characters did not want to hang around him. And into the apartment, Cody, okay? Now, this is where Cody is a little bit of a different character, okay? Now, he starts to develop from an SML character who, yeah, he likes guys, to, And, yeah, he is nerdy, to just straight on completely gay, okay? Now, Cody is 100% gay now, and that's all he talks about, and that's all he is. And that's all he is made fun of, and that's all he does. Now, you can see he starts to take around Ken and dress him up and start putting you know, um, start putting, like, chocolate cream over him and all that stuff, and whipped cream, whatever, and he just gets super, super gay. I mean, honestly, like, I'll show you in a second. Like, look at some of the stuff he did around this time. Like, he took Ken pretty much everywhere around him. He asked for, like, body massages from his guy friend. Like, that is very, very much not appropriate um, and as you can see, Junior is very hesitant to do that. But Cody right now is just an extremely, extremely gay character who just really, that's all he's known for, really, is just that. That's all he's known for. And um, he just brings his doll around. He dresses him around. And anyway, like, as you, you, you will see here in a second that he asks for a massage. And it, it's like a stomach massage or whatever. And uh, it's very, very weird. And overall, I don't know, Cody was just a very, very weird character. Like, this does not look appropriate at all. It looks like they're almost kissing. But anyway, 
Cody, not an appropriate character um, at this time. And he was just like, he, this is when he took that huge step from being a super, super just nerdy character to a super gay character, not nerdy at all. Then we've got the next stage of Cody. Now, this is the stage of Cody that turns from... Again, he keeps the same gayness, okay? Like, he's still super gay around this stage. But now his entire just actions start to develop. He becomes a completely different character in terms of his wording and his choices. So, back in the second stage of Cody, um, when he was super gay but not nerdy at all, the, he starts to get back a bit of his nerdiness now. He starts building things. He starts creating different... Um, Objects that are super cool, different potions. He starts becoming really smart again, okay? But he maintains his gayness, all right? Another thing that, another most notable thing in this stage is that not only does his voice change here, but in the, also the fact that Cody just overall as a person and his, his thoughts and his ideas change as well. He, his voice changes pretty much completely. And now he starts swearing, okay? This is when Cody begins to swear and you can actually um during this stage you can actually kind of you know almost every time you hear cody you're gonna hear him swearing now i don't want to show a clip of that because i don't want to risk getting demonetized um for this video but again as i'm saying like um cody does swear during this stage and his voice completely changed i'll show you his voice now isn't the beach romantic, Ken? The sun glistening off your moist biceps? Uh, oh, oh, what's that? Oh, you, you don't want to get a sunburn on that tight tush of yours? Okay, I'll go get the sunscreen. So as you can see, he's still super gay. Like, uh, no, nobody, nobody does that, let's be honest. Like, he's still super gay. But at the same time, at the same time, he is also a very, very, um, his, his, uh, his voice changes during this stage. Um, back in the second phase, his voice didn't really change much, but in this third phase here, his voice does change a lot, and it is evident. He also swears a lot, and yeah, he still maintains his gayness. And now we have the last and final stage of Cody, and this is the current day Cody that we're at. Now, in this stage, Cody's appearance completely changes because he develops from a plush to a puppet, and he becomes, a, a, he goes from a turtle to a human in this stage, and his voice remains completely the same. He doesn't swear as much because, again, the, um, the entire demonetization of the channel and the entire family friendliness. He does not swear as much anymore. And Cody, however, still maintains to be a little bit gay. But, however, he hasn't been doing the exact crazy stuff that he used to do, which I'm honestly surprised. He is still very much into guys, but at the same time, he is more on a... Uh, more chill scale, and I, I think, like, we, we're starting to forget a bit that he is, you know, into guys, um, because he doesn't really talk about that stuff anymore, you know, like, it's not really something that, you know, is the first thing that talks and comes up when you, you know, listen to Cody and what he has to say about himself, and honestly, I think overall, Cody has just really changed. And this is kind of the history of how Cody has changed in SML. And if you guys want to see another character like this, like I'm going to be doing Junior, I'm going to be doing Jeffy, I'm going to be doing all these other SML characters. Um, and yeah, so this is what I have. I think Cody was a great character to start off with because, again, not only does his appearance change, but his voice changes, um, his actions change, his language change, his hobbies change. There are a lot of things that change about Cody that happened in this video. So anyway, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Remember, we post more content than anybody else around about SML on YouTube. And yeah, that's going to be me for the video. Peace out, everybody.